Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the hashtag PITV podcast hello. number three. The the hashtag is uh, not mandatory, but I just said that to like kind of ingrain it in your mind. If you're listening to this. Hi, hi. It's me, Purple Thunder, Corey, and I'm joined by... Uh, Zaraf. <laughs> Zaraf, Z3, Z3 Raf. Raf. Uh, Sam. Thanks for resubscribing, Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Z3 Raph is uh, uh, the 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 guest of. I mean, we're both guests. It's not my podcast. It's the TV podcast. I Isaiah and Jake are are busy boys, so it's back to us for yeah. this week. Um, we have uh, a, a decent amount of topics. I don't think we'll be as long as when we had four people because everybody had some shit to say, mm-hmm. uh, and and now this time it's just going to be us. So. Let's get right into it. Um, Let's get right once into again, the news. <laughs> we have uh, we have some general housekeeping stuff. Once again, this is episode three of the podcast. You can go ahead and listen to episodes one and two. We do this weekly on Thursday, uh, Thursday evenings. We try to hit that six p.m. Central Time mark. We were definitely off the mark today. That was my fault because I got shit going on. Nah, um, he's getting that bag. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um uh, you can uh you can find the archives of the podcast we are on youtube if you search panda nation tv we don't have the custom link yet uh we're, we're, we're making our way up for that uh you can also follow uh us on twitch we don't have a pntv channel it's just kind of stream between me and sam i'm purple thunder ne and he is e 3 raf on twitch twitch.tv forward slash purple thunder ne twitch.tv forward slash z3 raf Damn, dude, uh, you're just cooking over here. <laughs> um, and uh, if uh, if that does not uh, fill your fancy, that's just how you watch us live. But if you want to watch on your own time, you can also watch us. We are on, or uh, listen to us, uh, the podcast. We are on Anchor. We are on Spotify still. But now, since uh, the last episode, we are up on Breaker. We are up on Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, and also Radio Public. Um, so if, if you listen to podcasts in those places... Uh, you can now listen to us there. We are uh, anchor.fm, I think, forward slash PNTV. I think that's how you find us. Uh, yeah, I think that I think that's all I have for general housekeeping stuff. Sam, do you have anything you need to plug while we're while we're in this mode? Fuck, I mean, you pretty much got everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam on Twitter uh, underscore uh, Z3 Roth yeah, underscore, three, underscore Z3 off, and then another underscore. Um... You said uh, do them on Twitch. Cor- Corey uh, at Purple Thunder NE. <laughs> That's me. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to revive my Instagram, Purple Thunder NE. Um, sub to me on YouTube. We're almost at 100 subs, which is crazy. I hit my first uh, 1,000 views, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're getting pretty... Me, I'm getting pretty close to that 125 goal that I wanted. Hell yeah. So We're getting in there. All right, so we're going we're gonna to cut to the chase here. Today... Well, first of all, did you watch the Pokemon Direct? I'm going to assume yes. Not live, but yes, I did watch it. Okay, I was going to say, uh, if the answer is no, this might be a short podcast. Because <laughs> that is like the main thing here. So uh, for anybody who's not in the loop, um, I don't know why you wouldn't be. This is like kind of what we're here for. The The Pokemon Direct was this morning. It was about 20 minutes, uh, and it was, it was, it was kind of jam full of some stuff. Um, initially... I don't think pretty much anybody was too hyped for it. I don't, I don't think anybody was expecting much. Um, the I the, wasn't. the general, yeah, the general feel. Most people were like, "Oh yeah, it's probably gonna be Pokemon Home and Pokemon Sleep." Uh, that was announced not too long ago, Pokemon and cheese. we just, yeah, um, and yeah, those were kind of like teased not that long ago, but we didn't really have like any uh, indication of when they were coming out. So we were like, "Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna get." And uh, they didn't talk about that shit like once. They talked about Pokemon Home for like a tiny section. And then that was it. So to start off, they gave us Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Remakes. Sam, how are you feeling about that? Have you played Mystery Dungeon at all? I have. Me and Jackson would send each other. Well, I mean, I would send him about. uh, Mystery Dungeon? Yeah, Mystery Dungeon. All the time. I, um, I played Explorers of darkness i believe oh i just killed myself in mario <laughs> uh i played Ex- explorers of darkness on the ds um i definitely didn't finish it i know jackson the king himself uh is a super big fan of pokemon mystery dungeon we texted back and forth and he even was like yo 
he, uh, you know, we definitely, we definitely need to be playing this game. You know, Purple Thunder and Pals might make their return or whatever, some shit like that. And he wants to be on the podcast, but he is actually in fucking Germany right now, being Hollywood. So he, he won't be back He's for a long time. But eventually, yeah, eventually he will be on. But that is besides the point. So overall, are you think you're going to be playing? Yes. The the new mystery dungeon. Uh, no, I think I, I will be too. It's just such a hard time frame. It's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> there's so much other stuff. <laughs> That was literally, I, that is like the one spot it hurt to come out. Even if it was just like February or just a bit later, like even April is still kind of bad. Because okay, I mean, there's other Nintendo games coming out in that time frame. They have uh, Animal Crossing, which is supposed to be a really big release <laughs> coming out at the, the end of March. So that is, mm-hmm. that's a tough time frame to fit in there. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it looks interesting. I think it's... Uh, out of left field, I think most people assumed Mystery Dungeon is dead. <laughs> so I, mean, I that's, so. I mean, yeah, all the games they're just like sucked in the new age, and then yeah, they had like Super Mystery Dungeon, and like that's that's pretty much it. I you guess. You know who we should have recent... a guest for this? Who? Brock. <laughs> Brock, I would love to have Brock on. He needs to have something he can plug though. Easy <laughs> like a channel in order. That's channel. that's the requirement, bro. I ain't trying to have nobody fuck around and just be like, oh well, you know, I just kind of bum around. It's like, bro, you gotta have a purpose to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. First, folks, just have some sort of social media outlet, and you can uh... you could be on, yeah, on the illustrious Pan TV podcast. If you want to be on the podcast, <laughs> my DMs are open. Sam too. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> for whatever reason Sydney do you um, have something you can plug what <laughs> they are our dog's Instagram it doesn't count Zerafan87 oh, plug yes plug <laughs> you don't need that on I hear what <laughs> okay he has we're a gonna salty move on um, <laughs> I don't know what she said and I hope but the microphone didn't pick up what she said because I don't want to know what it was. <laughs> um, I can't hear you. Stop talking to me. I'm streaming and I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, yeah, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon seems pretty dope. Uh, I could see myself playing that for sure. Actually, after we do the podcast, I think I'm actually going to play through the demo because uh, that is live right now. That's free, free demo. Do the demo. I know that game. Like, the, well, not like the back of my hand, but I know the game. No. Well, it's a demo, and your save file transfers over to the game once you buy it. So that is why I was interested. I at least want to check it out. Um, yeah, so we can... Emily, I know you're in the chat. Hello, if you have any questions you want us to answer, go ahead and plug and chug, bro, and we will get to it. Plug and chug? <laughs> yes. So uh, the the main course of the, the meal, I guess, for that Pokemon Direct is, in fact, the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC. That was announced. Um, we're going to get a DLC pack. It's going to be $30 to get two different releases. Um, $30 for each game you buy it for, I should say. Um, so maybe like $15 per little pack. Because there's going to be two. One that releases in June. One that releases in the fall. Sam, what were your initial thoughts? Uh, looking at this dr- as fuck. And uh, yes. that it is nothing but good. That's good to hear. What what was like the the thing that made you go hell yeah? Like this is gonna this is gonna be badass. Uh, the fact that it looks amazing. Um, <laughs> all the new content they're introducing with it, on top of the fact that uh, they're bringing back boys. Hopefully, hopefully, like the fire. Bring like the fire to Galar twenty twenty twenty. They said that it was. Oh, I just killed myself. Uh, they said there is over 200 Pokemon going to be added to the game, including new Pokemon. Yeah. Then, um... So that is that's promising. That's not all of the Pokemon. No. So if you don't make this second list, you really, you really must be some kind of ass if you don't make the secondary list of Pokemon. True. <laughs> one thing I thought. One thing I thought was interesting. They showed like the the slide of um, like all the legendaries that are coming back. Where are my Ultra Beasts, bro? No, fuck the Ultra Beasts. They potato. Where are my Ultra Beasts at? Emily's favorite Pokemon are the Ultra Beasts. You better, you better come correct. You better, <laughs> you better be nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just thought that was weird, but overall, yeah, I, I second that. Um, I was, I was on Twitter and I was like, I don't know. I feel guilty for being excited for these just because, like. No, do not. I didn't understand I, that. 
Uh, no, okay, well, like, everybody's like, this is just being the original game. Me, 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 me. I don't understand how much effort like Game Freak has to put into this shit. <laughs> Sam, I'm gonna tell you, don't watch my video I'm uploading right now. <laughs> 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 That's the whole premise. Um, they, uh, ba basically, my stance is I'm mad excited. It lo all looks really, really cool. Uh, it's just some of it I feel like it, it is kind of sus that it's like thirty bucks. I mean, thirty bucks is it's kind of a lot for DLC. I, it's two. Di I, th I thought about that before, but it's like two different packs, so it's like fifteen per, which is not as bad as I was like originally thinking about. But. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, what do you think about the new legendaries? There was like the bear, um, and then like well, the weird deer, like Mega Mind thing. Um, I mean, it's pretty. I have the same opinions as everybody else does. Like the bear is pretty good. Mm -hmm. The weird goat rabbit. <laughs> I didn't. Him. I didn't hate him when I saw him. Uh, and then I, I him, mean, I like. like okay. okay so, <laughs> so with, <laughs> let me show you. Uh, what, let me tell you how my brain thought when I saw these these legendaries. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are we even playing Pokemon anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, this is it, it's like that. Uh, are we in Kansas anymore? Sort of vibe. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in Kansas anymore. Uh, but uh, Pokemon Def gives that that vibe in recent times. <laughs> well, the thing was is because I was looking at the. Uh, the like the, the 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 forms of the the bear mm -hmm. the the giant stuff he's got like, like punchy punchy mode yeah like damn they really goofed up zamazenta <laughs> and <laughs> yeah i was like they gave these guys a whole <laughs> oh yeah that's what i was looking at it too because it's like red and blue so it made it look like they were going to be two different i thought that was going to be like their gigamax forms or something or like their gigantamax or whatever but um... and it's like nope it's a bear he seems nice. <laughs> but so, uh, the world, wor world goat. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what to feel about him. Mm -hmm. He's. I don't know. I didn't hate him, but I definitely looked at him. And I, I, like, I oh, did he's not interesting. like his giant brain. <laughs> <laughs> I love everybody saying he's like. It's just gonna be like a giant world. He's gonna be global. Yeah. I like everybody who's like he's the dude that says he works out at the library. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, but so we're getting mythical Pokemon, which is, which is one of those things where you you look at deeper and you realize Sword and Shield doesn't have. Any I have mythical Pokemon. I have two things about this DLC, and I'm about to hit the okay. first point. Uh, okay. Galarian trio, Galarian birds. Galarian that was uh, wild. I was honestly was not expecting that. Um, they turned that. They somehow made Articuno cooler. <laughs> Articuno ice pig um i i don't know how that's gonna work though because like technically galarian forms is that gonna mean there, there's like canon like there's two pairs of the legendary trio of the birds is that what that means i don't know because like, it's like I, the science behind galarian forms it's it's like the species changes once it goes somewhere else. So, like, unless they're just gonna say, "Ah, Zapdos just looks weird when he shows up in Galar," like, <laughs> like, I, does that mean that there's like six birds and three of them are the first? And uh, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Uh, did you I don't know what the hear... science there is. I said they somehow <laughs> made him look cooler. <laughs> I'm confused on what you're assaulting me on. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I think that was cool. I like the the Reggies, like the Reggie Draco or whatever it's gonna be. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> the first thing I thought was Reggie Bug. <laughs> Reggie Bug. I was trying to see. Was that just like their heads, or is that like the whole thing? Because if it's the whole thing, that kind of looks weird. But if that's just like the top of what they look like, I think that'll be cool. Because it looked like it was just like a bat with like the face <laughs> of like a Reggie Gigas or whatever. <laughs> yeah, Brock, you better get it right. Um, right, so yeah, right. we got a, we got a lot of, we got a lot of cool stuff, honestly. For real. Um, I like the idea that there's going to be two new regions to explore. I like that they're bringing back old Pokemon. Honestly, it's my main thing here is that I'm. Stuff of what? My main thing here is that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just sus that they're adding Pokemon back because they straight up were like. They, they put out that post where they're like, yeah, sorry, not all the Pokemon are going to be in Sword and Shield. They'll come back in later games. Just for them, like, a month after the game to be out, they're like, ha-ha! They're back! Hooray! 
That kind of sussed me out. Different games. You misheard me. I meant different DLCs. <laughs> I mean, pay thirty dollars. So my stance here. I. What do you think about the DLC model? I would much rather do this than buy yes. Sharp Sword and Shiny Shield or whatever. Sharp Sharp Sword and Strong Shield. That's what I kept saying it was going to be. I can't fucking speak. Dull Sword and Sharp Shield. So I think the DLC model is. It's it's obviously cheaper, you know, thirty bucks, uh, opposed to sixty bucks for a brand new game. That might honestly be their whole motivation. <laughs> honestly, that might have been the motivation to fucking make it uh, DLC packs rather than a brand new game because people are gonna complain. And sixty bucks for the same game is 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 not what the people are about these days. Maybe back in the day. This is coming from a guy who bought Sun and Moon or <laughs> Ultra Sun, but <laughs> um, yeah. So, do you see yourself playing this, yes. Mr. Neo? For sure. Yes. Okay. Um, wh which version do you have, Sword or Shield? Shield. So what do you think about life. the? What do you think about the Shield exclusives within the uh, DLC? Avery pack? can go suck a knob. <laughs> Sword stay winning, bro. What's that bitch's name? <laughs> uh, like I don't even remember her name. I thought it was weird also that the, the shield dude is a psychic type user, but we already had Bead. Bead was a psychic type user before he switched to Fairy. So I was like, that's kind of lame. They should have gave him a new form. Or a new <laughs> type, I guess. Every new character in Sword and Shield is just a new form of Bead. <laughs> <laughs> Bead. What I wanted to know, I I honestly, I had a whole My script. Beads, the bug Bead. <laughs> I had a whole script for a video where I was going to talk about what I thought would be Sword and Shield 2, like what would be inside it. And I'm honestly surprised we're not getting a Sword and Shield 2. They straight up said that that's not happening, like a, a, another game in this generation. Uh, because the story in, in Sword and Shield kind of leaves off at a point where you're like, you could have another because think of all the people who are transferring over. So we have Sonya becomes the new professor Bead becomes a gym leader. Marnie becomes a gym leader. You could have Hop be the champion of the of the second game. Like it could be like um, black and white to black and white two, where everybody like becomes something else important in the next game. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I I was I thought that was like bro, this could be perfect uh, for like the next game, and they're like, nah, that's not happening. So I have no clue. And then plus with this this new one, the the new people, the the psychic and the the poison type people in the DLC packs. They said that they're trying their their motivation is to be gym leaders, so they could for sure do a second game story wise, as long as it's good. I'll I'll play it, <laughs> even after they. It, it would have to be a lie, honestly, because they would be like, "Yeah, we're not doing this." And they're like, "By the way, Sword and Shield Two, it's here, hooray!" You know. Woo! So, yeah, those are my thoughts. That's what um... I'm thinking. Yeah, so they, I, I didn't catch that because I watched this straight out of waking up, so I was extremely tired. <laughs> so um, so they straight up said that they aren't going to make any more in the Galarian region or just Generation 8 mod. Well, what they what they said was um, like the part where they're showing, well, like previous generations we had like Pokemon Platinum oh, and yeah. Emerald and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. They're like instead of they basically like not in these exact words but they're like instead of doing that we're gonna do dlc for this game so like mm -hmm. instead of like if they made sword and shield 2 it would just be what we're getting from these dlc packs like these two oh, new okay. zones and then like more pokemon which i like a lot more 30 bucks you keep your save file like i, I enjoy that i think you know what it's i a like decent, decent model what's that uh i like that remakes so, <laughs> so, so in the second pass, the snow one, um, they say like a, a certain someone is going to be your mentor. Do you think it's going to be Cynthia? Everybody I've talked to says it's going to be Cynthia. Uh, I do not. You don't think it's going to be Cynthia? Why, why do we need mentors? Is that like the theme here? <laughs> I, you know, it's like the person. So like the second DLC is all about you like exploring and like the person that commissions you to explore 
Uh, they, okay. they were like, it's going to be a certain someone. And they told us who the first guy is. So unless they're, uh, unless they have not decided who it's going to be yet. And that's why they said that. Like there's, there's like, they haven't developed anything yet. And they, they haven't decided who this person will be. Oh, except when you realize the gen four remakes are going to be watered down platinum, like, or as had less than Emerald. RJ, it's going to look pretty. And that's all that matters. <sighs> RS had a lot of stuff to do. It might not have, it might not have been Emerald, but there was, there's plenty. I, oh, Ross, obviously everybody hates on oh, Ross, but so what do you think? Cynthia, yes or no? Uh, I think possibly, <laughs> but I also, I think be, there's potential. I also wouldn't be surprised if it was like uh, Steven Stone or something. That's true. That wouldn't make any sense, like story wise, because the king himself said he was like well cynthia is all about the lore and stuff and she like you find her in those ruins and in, in gen 4 and all this shit and like that's exactly what you're doing in this dlc pack so there's potential it could be her and it could like tr transition perfectly to you know gen 4 remakes but we'll have to see we shall have to see and let it be known i'm like 99.9% .9 sure gen 4 remakes are happening because game freak needs to print more money <laughs> They, just, they know it's going to work. They're going to be like set more records for the Switch and shit. There's just no way. Even if Gen 4 Remix were some dog shit, everybody would be playing that shit. God, it's just stop. unavoidable. Sam, stop going for uh, grab on the last hit. What a bitch. So, any, any other thoughts you have on this uh, Pokemon Direct that we were hit with? Um... Mm. Any more thoughts I have? Give me a second, Phil. So we talked about... Oh, this is my other point. <laughs> Why Slowpoke? <laughs> Why are there two forms of Slowpoke? That, that was... Uh, that was definitely just crossed my mind. I was like, do people actually care about Slowpoke? Can you hear me, Did sir? You can you hear me, sir? Can you? Sir? Uh, yes, I can hear you now. Sir? Sorry, I had myself muted because the people in my house are really loud. Um, <laughs> New slow pokes. <laughs> um, I, that was definitely something that crossed my mind. I was like, do people... Is, is slow poke really popular with the kids? First expansion seems to be Johto themed. That's why. Pokemon well, the this is, series is, that, is Johto themed. The thing is, is that there's 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 the new slow bro <laughs> for the first expansion. The second expansion mm -hmm. is um, slow king. There's a different slow king. Yeah, that was true. That was the there's you get the two different items to transform it in the two different playthroughs. Yeah, so. except for some reason you just get a basic ass slow poke for uh, before that though. But who knows? Yeah. Why. Uh, maybe it's because that's the only fucking new Galar form, and I would be pissed if Slowpoke was the only well, new I mean, Galar we form. We literally have seen other Galar forms already with Articuno and all of them. Well, I mean, like, one they're going to give you, like, a normal Pokemon. Oh, okay. Like, they're not going to be like, here's Articuno, bud. Here you go. You don't know that. I mean, <laughs> that'd be so random. Be like, here's Articuno. Here's how to get you hyped for the DLC packs. Here's Articuno. Go ham. You never know, I guess. There's always true, Sam Neil. Sam Neil could <laughs> fucking be a god. Oh yeah, dude. At the end of the day, what you need to take away from it, I'm hyped. Sam's hyped. For real, dude. I think it's good. I think it's good to be hyped. I think uh if you don't like it though, I can hundred percent see why. I'm a little sketched out, uh, but I'm still gonna play it. That's that's the mindset I'm in. So Hell yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm particularly excited to meet all the new characters too, because uh, that'll be really fun. Yes, for sure. Um, I like mustard. <laughs> <laughs> His name is mustard. I like. It's like mustard. Okay. All right, mustard. I was watching Shofu's reaction. Everybody in chat was like, they couldn't think of a cooler name than mustard. <laughs> hey. <laughs> mustard. Dope. I don't know what that means, but anyways, um, so so. I was, uh, well, we, we kind of, in the last one, in the last PNTV podcast, we talked about our predictions for 2019 and stuff like that. Um, for and I honestly, for, yeah, yeah, what did I say? 2019. I said, oh, I, I was like, I almost thought I said 2018. <laughs> um, for 2020, yes. 
And I honestly thought we were going to be getting a, a, a Nintendo Direct, not not just strictly Pokemon. I thought it was going to be more general. Yeah. Most people are anticipating a, a Nintendo Direct uh, in January. And it's not out of the question. It's still very early January. But if there was... Um, do you think we're getting... We'll start with this. Do you, do you think we're getting uh, an actual Nintendo Direct this January? Um... I would have said yes, but I feel like the bulk of what they could talk about was in the Pokemon stuff. So, so I feel like it might be pushed back a bit more. I think it could also be pushed back. There's potential it could just be end of January because think about the releases they have lined up. They still have Animal Crossing. That's March. Um, and... I, I would assume we're gonna get some more info about that before it comes out to like get the people hyped up. So I think I think I don't know. February feels like it'll be too late to hype the people up. You never know. We we don't know the fifth Smash character, so I would I'm thinking that has to be soon because they kind of said that we would have that character by the end of winter of 2020, yeah. and it's it's January already, and we don't even know who it is. So. I, 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 I think soon enough we need to we need to at least know who it is. Even if we don't get him soon, That's I think hard. he needs to be revealed. It's hard to predict they need Nintendo to be because Nintendo sort of just... <laughs> they, don't, they do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, they really don't care. <laughs> yeah. The, the ultimate, like yeah. marketing and everything, yeah, they you guys don't care. think we're going to do this, but really, <laughs> this. Yeah. Um, and then in you the what, Pokemon actually, Direct... What do you think? What you I thinking? think I think they're gonna they're gonna have a Nintendo Direct and they're gonna bring up Metroid. <laughs> Metroid Prime, yeah, four or three, that, whatever the new yeah, one is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know anything about that other than that they didn't like it and they started over. That's the only thing we know about it that they announced. Yep, we're scrapping this and starting over. So we need to know about that. We need to know more about Animal Crossing uh, in the Pokemon Direct. They said multiple times we're gonna get more information about that. So that could definitely be in there if they had another Direct. We need to know the fifth Smash character, um, the Xenoblade Chronicles remake. They just kind of showed that that exists, but they didn't give us a release date or anything. So we could also be getting info on that. Um, what am I missing? Uh, Devil, not Devil May Cry. Um, no More Heroes. Isn't that a thing we also need to yeah. know about? Breath of the Wild 2 we need to know about. I don't think Breath of the Wild I think we're getting a January. like a year. <laughs> I just think that we're getting a January Direct. I feel like we have to. I don't want to say we have to, because I don't want to be wrong. I feel like Metroid <laughs> Prime is too early in development because they started over one year ago, but I could be wrong. I don't think it'll be like a expect a release date or anything. I think it'll be more At least a, show it to us, yeah, so people remember like that a, it's hey alive. Guys, we don't want to leave you in the dark about this. We know you've been oh, the, sh the Shinigami Tensei oh, game? Oh god, please. Apparently, if I got that? Apparently that's still alive. So we, we got a report from the person that's like one of the people that's working on Persona 5 and somebody asked them about it and they're like, it's still alive. That's all I can say. So we need to hear about that if that's a thing. Yes, um, please. Hmm. Yeah, I think that I think that's the main things. I might be missing something. Nintendo's got a lot cooking right now and a lot of it we don't really know about. For so Bayonetta 3. Yeah, for real. Atlas is a oh, lot of three. Play. Or that's no, true. That's platinum games. Never mind. Not yeah, platinum games. I was like, dag. <laughs> um, there's a, there's still the question of if Persona Five is going to be on the Switch. I don't think. You don't know. Be. Persona Five Royal comes out in March, and there's there's no word of if it's coming to the Switch, so probably not. Unless there's getting like a weird Switch version later, <laughs> like a little kitty version <laughs> on the Switch or something. Baby's first Persona. Baby's first. <laughs> No, I want... Uh, or said! I think Persona, Persona 2. I want Persona 2. Persona 2? I think that's the one with Hitler. We could get, like, a Persona collection or something? I want the Persona with Hitler. <laughs> He's not really Hitler. He has glasses. What? Does that say really text me during the podcast? <laughs> what he, wait, what did he text <laughs> you? If it's, if it's private, I don't want to hear it. But I, <laughs> if it's stupid, please... What did he text you? <laughs> oh shit, there's a pipe here? I don't think I've ever gone down this pipe. Come on. 
He said something in the chat. In the in the the, the PNTV Discord. What did this goon say? You can't leave me he just said, hanging. He just said, I need to show you something. I want to be your doubles partner. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to shut the fuck up. I just told him I said, you, you okay. Me I'm gonna I'm gonna make this live report yeah. right now. He said, Dag, sorry, I was napping. I'm way too tired. That's why he's not on the podcast right now. But oh, he yeah. can text Sam. His ass could join right now, and we could just. <laughs> get all his thoughts on everything we already talked I'm about. Just, I'm dragging the podcast out. I'm not hyped for Pokemon Direct. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. If Isaiah if you're in here, it's okay, buddy. I just I just thought it was so, funny. Yeah. Um So Pokemon Direct, January Direct. <laughs> Sam, this oh. is kind of a an ending point, and then if anybody has a question, we would love to answer it because yeah, kind of low, low on points today. I love. Uh, so Sam, I love this point is all about you. It's about. Me. I would, yes, I would love for you to give us like your diary on uh, being a Twitch man. Okay, well, so far, off, what's what, a, a big boy? I totally Twitch thought man. you said. Let me ask you about your diarrhea, and I was very. <laughs> I. <honest. laughs> so I, was like, I just did not say that. <laughs> I was like, first of all, like, whoa. That's personal. Personal. <laughs> um, the di- like, what, what do you want to know? Like, uh, just like, how's it been being like affiliate and stuff? It's been pretty good. How's, how's um, life been? I got my first random subscriber, like someone I completely don't know has now subbed. Oh, yeah. Me. Chump, he's a god. He's not in the chat right now because he'd be shit talking the whole time if he was. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've adopted him as my son. Um, <laughs> what else? Shout out to Chump. Shout out to Chump. Are you learning anything? Are you like changing anything up? Um, or are you just doing the same? I have been... Right, right now, the biggest thing I've been waiting on is me and Emily doing... With Emily working on all my like logos and like loyalty badges yes, and stuff. Yes, that's big shit. That's, that's big shit. That's something I've been waiting on for me to get really far. But the thing is, with streaming, it's really hard to really. How do I describe this? It's really hard to get. It's not like YouTube. I can't just add more. Um... Oh, sorry. The Sonic I'm playing just fucking rolled off the stage and died. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really hard to like sort of update my like. I can't ride Which? the big wave of something unless there's a new game that comes out. So yeah. I can't. I've been playing Smash, of course, and I've been, I think I've peaked at like a 10 viewer stream once. My, I've been peaking averagely around about 7 to 10 viewers, which is pretty nice. That's good. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I've been. Um, where, where were you at this time last year, at the beginning of 2019? <laughs> this time last year in January? Uh, streaming yes. for about. 30 followers <laughs> i thought you were gonna say 30 minutes i was like i, I feel like you stream more than that but what were you even streaming at this time last year were you still playing um fucking uh the last of us no no that was really early that was like the first that was one little, of the first that game. was like the first so, one i was there for so that. the 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 only person who will know what Sam Neil was at the very beginning of streaming is a is my buddy named Tad. <laughs> he was the first <laughs> one to watch me stream because I was in the chat with him talking to him. Probably. <laughs> um, but uh, I streamed Binding of Isaac and Assassin's Creed. Uh, what's the Assassin's Creed that was really glitchy? The first one, Unity. Yeah, I streamed that in Unity. <laughs> yeah. I remember. I, I keep wanting to say, "Don't starve." You never stream, "Don't starve." You just no, recorded that, right? That. I remember. I we were like, "Hell yeah, we got to record this. You got to get this in there," because you were doing Overwatch and like yeah, all kinds of shit on your YouTube. Yeah, recording us being shit lord together. <laughs> um, rest in peace. There's only one video that Jackson is, was excited for me to post, and I lost the vod. <laughs> so, Oof. Oof. That was the biggest. De- it was such a funny mod too. That's like one that will go down to history as like the most feels bad man. <laughs> the king himself. Um But uh stuff I have to work on is I need to like I need to sit down and force my like either record videos or make sure that I'm always mm-hmm, recording mm-hmm. mods. Yes, yes, um, and do the I like that. Do the once 
one post on Twitter a day or something. Yes, like PNTV goal for 2020, which absolutely nobody has listened to except for like me and Emily. I've been okay. The thing is, is you have been doing pretty good too. It's pretty hard. Isaiah and Jake don't even have their channel set up. So. <laughs> um, I, I just don't know. Like, I mean, I did that one advertising thing. That's all I'll give my. I did that. <laughs> mm hmm. But I'll um, tell you what. I'm gonna go ham. I'm gonna make you like some some Twitter clips, and you just schedule those fuckers, <laughs> so and they just they just go live. Well, that's, that's you have to be, I've, been, I've you have actually to... been trying to find like like get clips, like I'll funny get, clips like, and such. The snake is like one of my more favorite characters to try to get clips with. So yeah, that's the reason I've been playing him so much lately. Is because I'm like mm -hmm. I want to get. Because I know if I get a snake clip, I'll go out of. If it's like a really cool snake clip, I'll go out of my way to like clip it to record it or something and then post it so i've been just trying to find stuff like that um i have i want to do a spooky game i don't know spooky when i'm gonna game? do it but i'm gonna do it maybe i'll do it for youtube but that'd be sick yeah. i twitch is always a good one for spooky games though yeah i've been legit like watching all these things I, I watched seven. You could do that. I've I been have. watching all these, uh, bro. Uh, it's time. We're gonna take over YouTube. I've been, I've been doing mad learning. I keep telling you about this, about YouTube and shit. And I think I would be fucking down to just like chop up them, chop up them Twitch videos for you, my man. <laughs> I know, but you already are doing. Killed myself. Um, playing VR. That... I do not have the money for that tech. <laughs> VR, bro. That's it's like a thousand smacks just to get your no. setup in order. Well, you gotta have a whole room dedicated to well, it too. He's talking about PSVR. PSVR. Oh, okay. Not that intense. Yeah. Um, okay. Also, for me to even start doing that, um, I have to do what I've been trying to do for freaking what feels like two years now, and finally clean out my PS4 because it just screams <laughs> at me. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I hate hearing that. Even when I have mm -hmm. headphones on, so uh, I need to fix that. Yeah, um, that, that's that's something. But I also got to realize I've had a PS4 since the day it came out. <laughs> this is the same ah. PS4 I had since they announced PS4. <laughs> That'll do it. Um, but in terms of other games, only real games I have that I want to get are Cyberpunk and Resident Evil, and now maybe Pokemon <laughs> Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. Um, Mystery Dungeon, hell yeah! But Boston, if I did have the capability of playing it in VR, but <laughs> I would probably shit myself. But I would. <laughs> that would be something to watch. Sub goal, sub goal. Oh, yes, yeah. VR. I'm also trying to think of funny sub goals, like something people would want to watch. And the only one I can think of is that 1500. Uh, uh, 1500. 15. 1500 is like do like big stuff, like uh, I don't know. I've been just trying to think of like crazy things, cause, it, cause oh, okay. I was, just, if, I was like, are you really that close to hitting fifteen hundred? Jesus! No, I told you literally today. I was at seven. <laughs> 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 well, now I'm at eight. But um, oh yeah. I was just trying to think of stuff because it's really hard to come up with like good goals that make people want mm -hmm. to come and like sit down and watch me play stuff. So yeah, like maybe maybe I do make like a follow goal as a. Uh, at 150 followers, we do like a six hour stream of pure horror games and Sam can't bitch out. That would be good. Uh, Emily says Sam should play I Am Bread for a sub goal. <laughs> I Am Bread. I, I played that. Um, I think spooky games. Would be, what if you did like smash stuff like <laughs> like follower goal to like single Joy-Con or some shit like that. God, play Elite Smash with one Joy-Con. Um, like the bounties and stuff that Nairo's doing right now. Yeah. That's just sort of hard for the fact that, like, first of all, I need to... A lot of the stuff that would be fun to do, I need an actual following for. <laughs> like what? Like bounties, because people actually have to come in and want me to do stuff. To them, I'm just some random Joe who's... Well, not not like the, the streamer bounties. That's just what Nairo's calling them. But like the... Just like the uh, like the sm the smash bounties, that's what they're called. I don't I don't know where they come from, but it's just like beat somebody with one Joy-Con and like play Jigglypuff and don't ever touch the ground for a match, like shit like that. 
Don't like just obnoxious just shit in, on Elite Smash. Yeah. Bounty, yeah, Twitch bounties. Yeah, that's completely different. That, that's for the the moolahs. The moolahs. Mm -hmm. Man, if someone paid me and they told me, "Hey, fucking, if you win a game with single Joy-Con, I'll pay twenty bucks," I would be like, "Ah, oh, yes, I win." Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Ah, yes, my dignity. I feel it. <laughs> I feel it disappearing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I That's, like, the only main questions I have. If anybody has, like, a, a, yeah, dude, a firm... Yeah, I'll tell you... Do I hate my life at all? Nope. I've been really enjoying <laughs> streaming. <laughs> do um... I hate my life at all? <laughs> what a question. If you have any questions, please ask uh, Sam's chat or mine. Yeah, dude. We would love I'll... to answer. I will tell you all about the streams. AMA. Hashtag PNTV Podcast, Episode 3. We are live. Twitch.tv. D3 Raf and Purple Thunder N E. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, hello. If you're watching this later on uh, Anchor, Spotify, Breaker, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Google Podcasts, any of the above. Hello. Thank you for watching. I don't know how a lot of these platforms work, so I would tell you to follow. Um, and if that's not a thing, then Whatever then lets you then, consistently look at yeah. us. <laughs> Open your calendar in like Google Calendar, like your app, and set a notification that repeats every Thursday. <laughs> and there you six. go. Yeah, around six. We won't say at six, but around. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, but yeah. Corey, how's the YouTube life go? Oh. Okay, YouTube life is actually going pretty swell. Um, like I said before, one of my videos my, uh, hit a thousand views, which is kind of cool. That's my first video to go that far. Obviously, in the grand scheme of things, it's not amazing or anything. But for me, that's that's a lot. It's by far my most viewed video. Um, and my, uh, my, my hardcore grind of Sword and Shield definitely paid off when I, I made like five videos every day while the release was happening. Um, and, and those videos are still getting viewed today, uh, which is amazing. Um, other YouTube stuff, uh, the PNTV, uh, YouTube is going really well. If you guys aren't following that, please do. That's where all the podcast stuff goes up. We also post clips of the podcast. That's where they go. It just hit, um, uh, the first, what, the second episode of the podcast, just that clip of it hit 200. Yeah, it's, it hit it's. 400. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's getting it's getting up there for sure, um, and yeah, that's where, where highlights of this will go. So if if you want like a more digestible version of this, um, you can for sure go there, and there'll be clips and stuff. Um, so managing two YouTube accounts is a little bit tough because uh, it's it, not tough workload wise. It's just the fact that if if I work really hard on both of them people might not even know about it because if they only follow one they don't care about the other and they don't care that i'm working really hard on that and vice versa so the, th that's the only problem i really have with it mm -hmm. and and it's like it's like a it's like one of those things where it's like i feel like on your stream like if you put a lot of work into something like if you had like a really cool overlay or like like a really cool like sub notification or whatever it's like everybody will see that and be like ooh ah but it's like for me if i put a lot of work into something I don't know if i don't even know if people will notice it just because like i can't point it out or anything I definitely you know, stuff notice like that it when um like when i used to watch poketubers and stuff i'd notice when they used new like graphics and stuff i loved it mm -hmm. yeah that's for sure i'm i'm also trying to find my footing in like the poketuber landscape because uh honestly i think poketuber is like a derogatory term <laughs> <laughs> i don't think people have a, a i don't think poke whisper that again <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a derogatory term. Yeah, I, I don't think people have the highest opinion of like 99% of PokeTubers, myself included. Um, a lot of them, it's like top 10 uh, Pokemon that have purple eyes. You know, shit like that. Like, this <laughs> shit you just don't care about. So I'm, I'm making it a hard goal of mine to not make content like that, but like also still make Pokemon content. So that's kind of what my newest video is about. Um, the one I told Sam don't watch just because it's me talking about like my mixed opinions of the new DLC. Like I don't, I don't want to just be like, whoa, did you guys see that in frame four of this new trailer? This Charizard, he's actually orange. 
<laughs> like I said, like that. Like, oh, this Charizard right here, Dynamax, and you just don't see that every day. So we're gonna take a closer look in hands you just here. Don't see an orange Charizard. <laughs> yeah. So shit like that. Like I don't know. I'm trying to find my footing and be authentic and not fucking hell yeah. Sell dude. out. You know, the growth has been pretty decent. I'm at 81 subscribers now, which is awesome. Uh, yeah. That's 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 my journey. That's what I'm doing. I also stream on Twitch, like I'm doing right now, but I don't do it often enough to like actually have anybody care about it. So I think that's, that's you should keep at. doing it. I think I should too. Because um, nowadays, I feel like uh, um, you can't really have one or the other without like oh, have sure. one, you have to have the other. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I've been thinking about. It's like because most people, it's like you'll be a full time Twitch streamer, and then like your YouTube is there to like supplement what you're already doing on Twitch. And I'm trying to just like see if there's a way to do it the other way around. Like I'm a I'm a YouTuber and I stream to supplement my YouTube, but I just don't know if <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. Yeah, just cause I guess. The way the way I view it is that Thank you, Possum. It was a nice nine. <laughs> I'm playing game and watch right now. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> but uh because there's just I don't know, if you're trying to get to as many people as you can Mm -hmm. You have to. Have, you got to be on all the platforms. Yeah, you have to be able to scoop up as many people as you really want. For it's sure, like, for sure. So why aren't you posting on YouTube? I know. Saying? That's why I've been trying to <laughs> freaking figure it out. <laughs> it's because <laughs> I understand that. I just really hate editing, but I don't want to ask yeah. you to edit for me because that's lame. Dude, don't worry, bro. I'll get in there. That, I know you that's will, just the e want you doing to. highlight videos is like the easy shit i could do highlight videos all day that's honestly uh, my favorite part of, of ones for me because i just clip clip everything that's cool and then i'm like wow he -he -ha -ha. or yeah. like if there's funny moments i'm like okay you're gonna be the next fucking Nairobi. dr disrespect bro <laughs> pokey main pokey main I'm, I'm gonna have i'm gonna have white warriors at my door <laughs> Um, yeah. Anybody have any questions, or is it, I don't know if you're getting anything on your side. Um, um I, before before we ski daddle, we're we're a little under an hour here. Is there any questions you want to ask me, Sam Neil? <laughs> I asked you the one question. I, I know. I I'm just trying to you know see what see what's rocking. Um, hashtag PNTV podcast episode three. Hashtag PNTV podcast episode three. Uh, love, love life. If you are thinking, if you if you think of a question while we're not streaming between now and next Thursday, you can in fact use the hashtag PNTV podcast, uh, and I will open it up on Twitter, and I will I will look at everything included there because it is all just our stuff, so it's not even going to be like something random. So go ahead and use that if you want your question answered. Uh, or like saved in the memory banks um, for the next one. Uh, otherwise, I don't. I don't think I got anything else. What about you, sir? Um, I never have anything. So uh, <laughs> my, you're just along for the ride. My my next week uh, resolution instead of a yearly resolution is to actually have something to talk about. Because okay, I'm I like tired. that. Have have I something don't to want talk you about to on have the podcast. To be carrying this podcast with questions. <laughs> no, that's all good. Because Emily neither, asks I'm about good looking, nor funny, nor smart. So yeah, I am contributing <laughs> absolutely nothing here. <laughs> um, Emily asks um, about P and TV Con. We haven't made any uh, forward momentum on that front. Uh, if if everybody's if, been really if busy there's something life. to report. Yeah, if there's something to report about PNTV Con, you'll be the first to know. Uh, because I think Emily would be an important person to have there with her whole artsy-fartsy stuff. Emily, we should have you on the podcast one day so you can talk to us about what you're doing in the art world. Be I'll like you Brock and, you and Sam be on. life together. And uh, Brock, Brock wants too. to start streaming too, but his computer He should. Sucks. I literally, I literally, when we were talking about starting PNTV again, I literally hit brock up on twitter and said do you want to be a part of this and he was like eh maybe if i get a good computer or something like that like he should just join us stop fucking around and get in there <laughs> so all, that goes for all you fuckers out there that are mutuals if we're if we're homies and you're thinking about doing youtube stuff you know me and the king himself like sam i want you to know that the king 
texted me and said that we have inspired him to come back to YouTube once he gets back. Really? He legitimately told me that. He legitimately told me, he was like, I am inspired. I want to start doing stuff again. I don't know if it'll last for like four months or whatever until he gets back. Uh, I hope he is like in school right now, just My like gosh. fiending. Like he's like shivering, like, bro, I got to make me some videos right now. <laughs> I really hope that's what he's doing. Just in speaking in German, just... <laughs> <laughs> and because like I said, yeah, he was like, I, I would love to be on the podcast and all this stuff. So we're, we're really doing stuff here. That, that's the point of PNTV. All we want to do is just support the homies, try to get big together. So that way we take over the world. So that goes for anybody listening to this. I just want to play that's video games. I'm just trying to play video games. On, we're all just trying to play video saying. games. Mm-hmm. Hey, Corey, if I hit yes. my 1500 sub goal, would you play a horror <laughs> game with me? I would. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> to get Corey to play with me, you all have to sub. <laughs> Lifetime. If, whenever you hit 1500 subs, mark me down. Hell yeah. I can hook you up with my mutual friend, Joe Rogan. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Joe Rogan I want to go on Joe Rogan the experience. <laughs> I looked at the uh oh shit that's about to blow. Up. Um I looked at the uh the YouTube video for the uh the character the the from the last podcast. I looked at the video oh, comments yeah, yeah. and I was like, mm -hmm. wow. Uh <laughs> There's actually quite a bad like I was actually surprised with the amount of people that were commenting. Okay, dopey. What me. I thought I'm going to look at it right now live on stream. What I thought was mad funny was the amount of dislikes on it. Because <laughs> I probably talk shit about Sora. <laughs> Seven likes and six dislikes. That a 53.8% rate. Which is the fucking funniest shit ever. Because we don't say anything controversial. <laughs> it's just so I said, funny. I don't think that Sora will be in. <laughs> it's, it's probably your dumb. Yeah, it's your dumb ass. You're like, no Sora. And boom, six. <laughs> Six people who are in love with Sora disliked it. They said 200. Well, well, the thing is, I looked at the chat and I just saw so many people saying Sora's gonna be in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, God, God. The, the comments and stuff, yeah, I appreciate it. It's a 218, um, 218 views right now. There's lots of pretty much everybody who's, you know, coming to comment on this is, in fact, talking about Sora. So, you could be infuriating the the Kingdom Hearts fans, Sam. They can go fuck themselves. <laughs> oh, this yeah. shitty ass game. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, I'll, start, oh, wait, I'll, start, I go back uh, I'll start a global war with these people. The fucking Kingdom Hearts. There's one that says likely spam. Sor Hashtag Sora for Smash was categorized as likely for spam. <laughs> It's approved. I'm I'm allowing it. He can say that on my channel. It's fine. Sora for Smash. This dude posted three different comments talking about Sora. This dude's dedicated. I think I know which guy you're talking about too. <laughs> I picked Sora for Kingdom Hearts. Sora for yeah. Smash. Sora was my favorite character from Kingdom Hearts, and he was awesome. That is why I want Sora to be in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate. He is dedicated. People really be. People were in my. I, I made a video on my own channel talking about what characters I want in Smash, and it's like the same thing. It's just like people being like, this is the character I want in Smash. They need to be in Smash. This is what I want. There was the one guy who asked me to help him, like, promote their character. And I was like, I don't even... <laughs> it's like, y'all be wild in out here. I don't even do that with Naruto. I just say he needs to be in Smash. <laughs> I'm not going out and being like, support the movement. Can you join the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> can you join the team? Can you join the We Want Gino in Smash fan club? <laughs> All that Jeez, we require yes. is you pay five ninety nine and you post once a day. That's all we. That's all we ask. Yeah, boss. Awesome. I can. I, I'm pretty sure. Um, I hope Mauricio never hears this comment, but I violently hate Kingdom Hearts. God. <laughs> the only part I like about it is Roxas. <laughs> Rox is my man! He's gonna be the one who makes it in Smash. If he makes it over Sora, I'd actually be really happy. <laughs> we need Roxas and Naruto. Okay, we don't oh, need God. Naruto. Believe it. 
Do you want Sora or Naruto? Uh, Naruto. <laughs> I'd rather have Naruto than Goku. <laughs> <laughs> That's two wins, boys. I couldn't even okay. get through. I couldn't. I couldn't even get through Kingdom Hearts one. <laughs> through Tarzan, Sam couldn't get through Tarzan. Let it be known. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> Tarzan wasn't even that bad. Kingdom Hearts really did piss me off a lot, though. I'm like, where am I going? What? Where do I? What do I do now? Is this Sora and Smash Dan? <laughs> what? Sora for Smash. Well. Mr. Neil, I, b I believe, I believe that's all I've got for the podcast today. For the podcast today, hell yeah! We hit dude. about I an hour. This was just actually pretty good one. I liked it. Yeah, it's it's not as um, happening, I guess, because we don't have four people in this call. It's just you and I, so we get to have a, a nice deep conversation. Yeah, dude. I always love people having watching deep conversations with you. Oh hell yeah! People watching at home, I. Uh, I appreciate that. On whatever platform you might be on, live or on demand, make sure you follow us everywhere you can possible. Search for Panda Nation TV. Search for Purple Thunder NE. Search for Nugget the dog. Yeah. Who shakes uh, violently in the violently background. Violently shakes. Um, but, uh, you can follow her on Instagram at Nugget the Hound. Uh, mm -hmm. You can. Uh, right, oh, she might be asleep. <laughs> We're you can on, follow on. Uh, Sydney at Zerafan87. Yeah. Um, on Twitter. <laughs> T3RAPH uh, fan 87. Oh, yeah. All right. I think that is all we have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Well, uh, she's shaking more viciously. <laughs> Nugget also says goodbye. Thank you. Uh, yeah. See ya. See ya.